one of the races you've always done exceptionally well and what how did you win this it's about preparation it's true hard training and then time schedule you know i don't get time to train much but the little time i get i use it for training and then for studies so me winning this race is not any new thing to me i knew already when i come i'll be able to make it because through what i've done i know I was sure of myself. So it wasn't any difficult or any fear, like seeing my colleagues and I'll be afraid or something like that. I know already that I will do it. You, you kept a consistency from start to finish. So how often do you train and how do you do this with such consistency? Uh, it's pace work. Through the training, we do pace work. How the pace we should use for the race and the pace we should. So through the training that I use the pace work, and it means the way I start is the way I'll finish. No slowing down or no any stopping on the way. Are you excited? Yes, please. I'm very happy. <laughs> okay, I wish you all the best. Tracy, who is second? Ebenezer, who is second? Who first? But China will be first. When tsunami is seen, we go to the area. It's not much now. Andi, we are watching Senka. We see Sian Yao Yang compete with Winnie. But China. But over the years, oh, one, Elizabeth, they, they be our dominating. I don't think I won't be to know. But when I am a first time, I'm a head of my Bahasi. And then I meant to me. And I mean, by answer to the Koto Jenny, Mrs. NMT, I come. No, I'm to know. Now, I don't think I'm still okay. Oh, by no, I'm a school near the evening. And then I'm a head of me joining. And tea, finally, and tea, we target, eh, then. We target. Who person won't do prepare him for? Thank you, that's why. You dears. What is the magical touch you've placed on this school? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, the magical touch is that uh, we, we motivate our athletes and then we take sports seriously in the university. Management and whoever is in the university attaches great seriousness I mean uh, which and uh, regarding sports in the university so I understand last year or last two years there were eight they moved to first how did that happen yes uh, like I said it takes it takes a whole lot of sacrifice to to get that far as we are in now um, sports is about planning and as you are aware wherever I was coming from to UDS I did it so I, I'm, I'm, I made sure that uh, I have to do everything as required to really project UDS. I remember last two years, they were, my provinces said, when others were running, they were walking. Now this time we are running and others are walking. So it takes sacrifice, sacrifice and a whole lot of investment to, to come this far. So uh, what comments do we have about people who say university sports has dwindled and what can they do to revive the sport? Uh, in actual sense, it has not dwindled because they are doing what we are doing here is academic sports. We are not doing professional sports. So in that vein, I mean, it doesn't dwindle us in the universities. If we we are serious as a nation, then we should go to the schools. That's where we'll get the the right products to to really play sports for us. Coach, would you say it has been uninspiring from Team UPS perspective? And I wouldn't say it's uninspiring. You know, this is the first time we have always gone out to compete. And uh, competing on your own ground is not easy. You would want to impress. And in an attempt to impress, sometimes over secretion of adrenaline can let the person go overboard. So I strongly believe that is probably the cause because they train adequately. We have been training for the past one month. But I don't know, it's a competition. It's just like how we sometimes rely so much on black style and they go and they disappoint us. Uh, I could say that I have done my possible best, take them through the training rudiments and regiments. Uh, but I don't know, uh, they came with the zeal to win. And along the line, I just can't explain why the abysmal performance. But all the same, I will see, look at the shortcomings. And then probably next year, I would know how to address and come out with a very good team that will uh, perform better. Uh, it looks like one of the shortfalls of UPS is that we don't go out to scout for athletes like the other universities, uh, uh, UDS, 
uh, 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 UEW and UCC. So I would try to impress from management that they have to give me the opportunity to also go out and probably scout for very good athletes because I pick them fresh and you know it's not easy to pick them fresh like that and within a short time let them perform. This is a long distance race that involves cardiovascular endurance and you need to go through a whole lot of processes to be able to adequately put the person at that peak to be able to get uh, something very fruitful for you. So uh, we wouldn't say it's uninspiring, it's, it's good. It's good. Okay. Uh, um, in other words, I'm trying to say that at least are not in this school that can be groomed to, to compete against the best. Yeah, 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 I'm not saying athletes are not here, but you see every discipline and the way and manner you take them through the exercises. For the short print, you can pick somebody and within a short time you'll be able to let the person perform and perform well. But you even look at the Kenyans and the Ethiopians, it's when they are aging. You see, with the long distance runners, the more you do it and you are aging, then they have becomes more resilient and robust to be able to perform adequately supply you know this is our cardiovascular the uh, heart will have to supply blood to the muscles to let you run continuously you understand so that is it they are fresh and to take time a lot of them are just in the level hundreds so hopefully before we get to level 400 at least i might have taken them through the training rudiments and i can assure you that in the next four years i will be able to get a team that will also take gusa all the universities that you are seeing them winning something like that university of ghana once upon a time i've been so long in gusa you understand we went somewhere and uh, in, in soccer they were beaten to an extent that they ran away from the pitch so that is it we have also just joined uh, this is the first maiden edition of the cross country that UPSA is hosting, you, you get it. So uh, that's why I said it's not bad. At least they've seen it. Sometimes you need to enter into the competition to realize that you have been training, but your training is not the best. So let me try and put up my best. You get it, good. Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome. You wanted the ultimate, it couldn't happen. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, in competition, everyone comes to competition to what? To come and win. So as I'm the first runner up, I give thanks to the Almighty God. Do you think you could have done better? Yeah, I could have done better than this. You know, this is my first time in running in the loop. You know the loop. This is my first time in running in the loop. And running in the loop is very difficult. You run and curve and run and curve and run and curve. It sometimes slows down your pace. So as, as a result of this, I couldn't place the first, but I was able to place the second. I give thanks to God Almighty. Do you think the ropes were some sort of a barrier? Yeah, exactly. Some sort of a barrier because running in a, a straight route it, it, it less an individual increases his pace. But you know here, when it increases your pace, less than uh, one, even not up to one minute, you have to do it. You have to curve for the loop again and speed up. Less than 30 to 45 seconds, you have to do it. You have to go to another loop again. So it, 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 it definitely an obstacle on my way. Yeah. Okay. But finally, what, what sort of expectations do you have for your career in athletics? Yeah, my expectation is uh, in the nearby future, I have to run for Ghana in the Olympics level. That is my expectation. Now that I'm in school, I'll just keep on working harder and harder. And my school, University of Ghana as well, has given me the much more support and adequate training and motivation to become uh, and to become uh, come to this uh, competition to do what? To play second. So what I have to tell the University of Ghana and the entire Ligon team is, may God help them. Yeah. Your full name? My full name is Raja Lagble.